Over the past two seasons, Major League Baseball has seen a rise in the number of multiple-piece broken bats. These breaks are extremely dangerous, and last June, Major League Baseball began a study concerning the durability of wood bats. Dr. James Sherwood, a professor at UMass Lowell and the director of the Baseball Research Center, was one of the four main experts to conduct the study. The role of the Baseball Research Center at UMass Lowell was to duplicate in the laboratory the same types of conditions that were observed on the field to break bats. And so with that, what we wanted to do was, under the control, controlled conditions that we have in the lab, we could hit specifically at a location along the bat, we could likewise control the pitch of the speed coming into the bat, and with that, replicate the same type of failures out in the field. Using a complex machine, Sherwood and Assistant Director Patrick Drain were able to replicate and study live field conditions. So the durability testing that we did at the research center was using this machine right here. And that we have a bat suspended in this machine and the grips that we have holding the bat are a good approximation to the two hands holding the bat. We have an air cannon at the end of the machine that can fire a baseball at speeds up to 180 miles per hour and we can pinpoint along the length of this bat where we want to do that impact. So with this, we can take and have the speed of the ball coming out of the air cannon be equal to the combined speed of the swinging of the bat as well as the spit pitch speed coming into the bat and hit at various locations along the bat and with that we can simulate the same type of break that could potentially happen out in the field. Since June, Sherwood and his team have impacted hundreds of bats at every point imaginable and have come up with interesting results. Under controlled conditions, we impact at different locations along the bat with different pitch speeds, and with that we quantified the durability of those bats. Then we had some specially made bats where we would take and hit the bat on a different surface. Presently, maple bats are hit on the edge grain and theoretically from the wood science guys by hitting on the face grain which is 90 degrees around the bat that this would increase the durability and so what we did at UMass Lowell is we took and impacted bats where we hit them on the edge grain as well as where we hit them on the face grain right here and we did see an increase in the durability by hitting on this surface so one recommendation that was made to the health and safety advisory committee was to rotate the logo on the bat. For example, here's a, a broken bat, but currently the logo is on this face right here. And a player is told to use the bat such that it's label up or logo up or label down. So with that, now it's going to be that they're going to take the logo and rotate it 90 degrees, and now the impact face will be this face grain of the wood and that should increase durability. The short-term solution will be to draw a small black ink dot on every major league bat that is manufactured. This will ensure that hitters are attacking pitches with the sturdier face grain and the safer slope of grain. So it's not that maple was any less durable than ash bats, it was simply more difficult to grade the wood and now with this black dot of grain it's going to be easier to grade. Dr. Sherwood has helped find a solution for now, but will continue his research on wood bats in effort to eliminate any possibility of dangerous breaks in the future.